My accident happened at home, my fall, and I knew I was in big trouble, but I didn't dream it was this bad. But I broke my wrist, tibia, and ankle. And I spent two weeks in Lumberton Hospital and then came here. I was non-weight bearing on my leg for weeks, so that uh, hindered a lot of my progress. My first day was a little scary because I started stand, they wanted me to stand up. And I, I had to have help to stand up because I had a broken wrist. So first and foremost, the goal was to improve her strength and he improved the range of motion. So we started out with a lot of bed mobility and range of motion exercises and strengthening exercises because when she first came, it almost took two to three people even to just sit her up. And then from there, after she got a little stronger, we worked on transfer training, like how we train the patient to from sit to stand without putting any weight through the right side. That was a challenge. And then from sit to stands, we progressed to standing and then transferring to a wheelchair. And then from once she was able to get in the wheelchair, we took her to the parallel bars. And in the parallel bars, we taught her how to stand up using the left side of the body, just using the left leg and the left arm and to stand up from there. And then we started slowly working on the leg exercises for the right side. And then to improve the range of motion, we use the SciFit machine, which kind of helps to re really uh, work on the range of motion and get a leg stronger. Once I got weight bearing clearance, then I started walking as far as I could to the therapy room, and which took a while to walk the complete distance from my room to the therapy room. I would have to stop and then ride in the wheelchair the rest of the way. But I did get to the point that I could go from my room to the therapy room and I was very proud and confident. I felt good about it and I felt like I'm, I'm going to be able to conquer this. I'm going to survive this. So for occupational therapy, we you know, did a lot of strengthening, range of motion in the, the wrist and the hand. You've seen we used the hand gripper and I had her, you know, doing the range of motion with her wrist. Um, I also integrated fine motor coordination activities. So the putting the tokens into the slots. Like Paula's journey is like, as they say, a journey of thousand miles begins with a small step. So because she was nervous and anxious, we always gave her small goals. Because once, if she fails in certain tasks, that will put her down and she will be very down. So we gave her small goals and then we cheered up on her when she achieved that goal. And that slowly boosted her confidence. I would absolutely recommend Liberty Commons for rehabilitation for anyone that needed it. My experience was great.